you sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Believe what we're seeing. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. The sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for a fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Left counter scores. Let's talk about the greatest. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a counter shot. Wait a minute. The left hand lands. He's got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. He threw the hook, didn't land. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. The positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Why aren't they defending? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. about the greatest. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Made it look so, so easy. There's the bell to start round three. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going.
And he just missed with that left jab. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. I want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. the counter lands. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about the greatest. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there. Get the job done. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. They walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. Got out of the way of that right hook. We wanted action and they are delivering. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fagin and pickpocket him. What a punch. Nice exchange here from both men. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about the greatest. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight, because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. There's the bell to start round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. 
Spider has not shown us much defense at all. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fight. A fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That hook just can't find the target. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Perfect counter shot. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. He fails to score with that left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. about the greatest. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too... Here we go in the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Quick punch scores. Good left hand. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. And he misses with that jab. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about the greatest. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. There's the bell to start round seven. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. And this with that jab. Is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. And he just misses with that jab.
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Ooh, that punch hurt him. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Best rounds I've seen this year. They're both trying for a knockout. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about the greatest. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance. And we enter the eighth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. These two fighters are made for one another. and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Good counter punch. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? That's an assassination. What a shot. 